Gaffer, obviously another narrow defeat today here at Orient. Can you assess the game for us? Yeah, I didn't think it was a narrow defeat. I thought they fully deserved to win it. Um, in all honesty, I think that we uh, um, we played reasonably well in the first half. I thought we had we created a couple of chances. The ball skidded across the face of the goal, um, as it did at the other end as well. Um, so it was kind of like a, a good game for us first half. I thought that um, with what we had, um, available in terms of players, you know, with the injuries that we've got, I thought that we um, we went about our business really well in the first half. Um, second half, you know, again they they score from from our corner, um, so we're not professional enough and, and um, smart enough to kind of see that and run hard on the turnover. The ball turns over. They they head the ball out the box and then they break on us aggressively. We've got to we've got to then run back aggressively with them, you know. And we kind of didn't in that moment. Um, and then of course you go one nil down at a place like this. It becomes really hard, difficult. They manage the game be- better than we did. Um, and yeah, it becomes a long afternoon. Yeah, we seem to be cursed with that early goal in the second half, don't we? There's four games on the trot now. It seems to be a bit of a bit of a habit now. Yeah, it does. Um, we spoke about it at half time. Um, it's one of the last things we said before we went and, and um, went onto the field to play for the second half. It was one of the last things that we've spoken about. So um, I, d- I don't know what what more we can do. We, we talk about it. We we look at it back. Um, you know, I, I don't know what more we can do. Obviously, Jenks and Gladwin out. Big physical presence is in that midfield. Did you see that missing today in there? Yeah, I thought there was a lot of kind of 50-50 tackles. Certainly in the second half that. Uh, they was on top of. I felt. Um, li- listen, we've got we've got players missing. You know, we've got obviously Gladwin, Jenks, Cerula. You know, really top players missing. Uh, my two 19-year-olds playing today, um, and an 18-year-old come off the bench. So you know, we're, we're Fred Bear, but you know, you give them players responsibility to go and play. And I, and I thought the young players did well. Um, it's a tough place to come. Um, you know, we played. Kind of free up front in a way, you know, with um, with Remy kind of higher and 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 Dom and Tom Fellows kind of in behind in them pockets. We felt that there were spaces on the turnover to to kind of pick their pocket, um, and it, it worked in the first half uh, on a number of occasions, um, and kind of find margins in, margins in the second half. You know, we had enough kind of attacking threats um, for us to go and get something from the game, but not to be. How much faith do you have in this group of players to turn it around now this season? Uh, yeah, I've got faith in them because um, I know how hard they work every day. I know kind of what it means to them. You know, I've just heard them in there. I've just spoke to them in there. A few players said a few things, so I know it means a lot to them. So, yeah, I fully back them. Thank you very much, Scott.